Talking with our Manuhiri, what you got us, Bray? Yeah, I don't know about summer gigs and tips, but something that is definitely getting ready for summer, these arms, <laughs> my friend. Look at them, bulging. Yeah, yeah, training, bro. Training. training. It's all, you know, the, the, the wonders of lights and television, bro. It's all of this, guys. Ah, uh, my how you jest. <laughs> my how you jest. <laughs> Do not lie. Anyway, my cuzzy, awesome track that just went down, bro. Thank you, my bro, Thank bro you. Well, well, tell us about it, bro. Well, basically, um, you know, you see a lot of artists overseas and, you know, a lot, a lot of people tend to be talking about, you know, money. Mm. That's the truth. A lot of artists tend to focus a lot on money and partying and, and popping bottles. And uh, I think, you know, it's something Something that doesn't really resonate quite well with, with Kiwis, I've noticed. We're, we're all very down to earth, and I think that comes to the fact that we live in the, one of the most beautiful countries in the world. You know, I've, I've, I've travelled I've traveled a little bit, and I've, I've been to a few places, and um, we really do live in an amazing country, bro. We have beaches available to us. We have mountains that are right there to us, available to us. We have, you know, phenomenal bush and, and forestry, and, and some other countries don't have that. More than that, our country is extremely safe mm. in, in comparison to other countries. We don't have people walking around with guns and knives and all of that jazz as well. We have benefit systems available uh, to people if they can't work. You know, there's, there's a lot of things that, that we have in this world, especially here in New Zealand, that a lot of people, you know, they, we take for granted. We do take for granted. Are you running for Prime Minister soon or something, bro? <laughs> like, come that's, on. Uh, that's that's the, uh, the next goal. It's, uh, <laughs> just kidding. Just that kidding. was a sales pitch for tourists <laughs> in New Zealand right there, bro. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, I mean that, that's all I want, though. I just, I just want people to be happy. At the core value of this song and what I'm trying to put across is I just mm. want people to be happy. You don't need money to make you happy. Mm. You know, of course, it's nice to have money, but I've, I've also met people who are rich who aren't happy either. So, you know, don't don't think that by having a flash house or, or a flash car, it's, it's going to keep you happy because at the end of the day, you still got to pay for that. Yeah. You know? Now, because on the song, the, the Kazi Young said, or Sydney Diamond was meant to be here and stuff like that, he's also on the song too. Yeah. How'd you go about, like, um, when you came up with the song, was it like, ah, oh, I need something different? Hey, let's get a rapper in here or someone else. How yeah, well, I, I wanted that? I wanted an artist that would you know that would work on the song that also had a similar belief pattern to myself. And Sid's mm -hmm. the same. You know, when I first met Sid, and I was the same when I first started in music. It, it used to be about the money, and we were, we were focusing on, on trying to get a, a you know a few things like that. And now he's he's changed completely as well. If you listen to a lot of the songs he's putting out, it's not about that. It's mm. just about being being real. Know, pretty much, bro. Being real and appreciating what you have. You know, Every, everything that you get in this world that that's given to you or you or you work towards, just appreciate it. So. Oh, what's in the future for Peter T, man? Um, Samoa next week, yes. What? Yeah, I'm off to Samoa with um, Jay Williams, Swiss, and Miss Jay. So mm -hmm. we're going to uh, going to Samoa as well as American Star. When I get back, I've got some more shows in Australia. Then I'm off to Rarotonga. Mm -hmm. And then hopefully in January, it looks like I'm off to Hawaii as well because my baby's cranking over there. So. Oh, my gosh. You guys should come, bro. Oh, bro. I'd be keen. Yeah, yeah, you should come. You I'd be keen. Come. Just, just come. I'd... He's saying, I was saying, I would be keen. <laughs> yeah, it definitely. It's my new backup song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> jump in there, play the get. Oh, bro, I can play the drums as well. That's coming up later. Anyway, <laughs> hey, hey, Kimo, hey, Tabuna.